Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a video and I apologize. Totally unintentional like always. Um, but I am back with another pregnancy update and I know it's been a while since I posted one of those. I am 21 weeks pregnant today so I'm just going to update from the last time that I posted a video till now. Um, I haven't been keeping regular notes so I'm sure that there's things that have happened that I'm not noting <laughs> um just unintentionally i'm gonna try to keep better track of it but you know with three kids and life it it just it can be hard to track things sometimes so anyways for at least the past couple weeks i'll cover <laughs> um i started feeling her move around 15 weeks now at all at 21 weeks i feel her moving very often she seems to be a very frequent mover and one thing that's interesting is i had my 20 week ultrasound which went good thankfully um but she is in a breech position so her feet are down low and i feel her kicks a lot so that's pretty fun for my bladder <laughs> um she definitely makes me have to go to the bathroom pretty quickly sometimes um but it's just been so fun to feel her move chris has felt her move the boys haven't felt her move just yet um you can see it from the outside and you can feel it but it's like whenever they put their hand on my belly she stops um one thing that's really funny though is whenever i cuddle cooper my youngest and he like falls asleep on me she kicks non-stop and it's funny because he doesn't even notice it and i'm not sure how he doesn't notice it or if he just doesn't realize what's happening but she will kick constantly like i thought maybe the warmth of him being on my stomach would help her like fall asleep no she's like what is this on my stomach why is it on my stomach and she will just kick and punch and roll constantly that's another thing um just recently like over the past week i've been feeling her roll a lot in my stomach like roll her fist across or her spine i'm not sure what exactly it is but she especially likes to roll whatever she's rolling across my belly button and so it's really funny because my belly button is pushed out from her and then you can it's like my belly button does a wave like if you're watching my stomach it's just like doing the wave because she's rolling something across my stomach and my belly button area um yeah so i had my 20 week ultrasound that went really well uh she is definitely a girl <laughs> and i do have to go back actually on monday i went on thursday and i have to go back on monday because there was one picture angle of her heart that she couldn't get because of the position that she was in and she couldn't get her to move correctly so i have to go back in for one ultrasound picture um they want me to come in so soon because it's a picture of the heart so they're like not that they think that anything's wrong because everything looks really good that they do have pictures of but they just want to make sure that i get in sooner than later just in case something were to be wrong or not look quite right because it is her heart so i'm going back in on monday honestly i'm not worried about it i feel like everything's perfectly fine and everything's going to be fine um her heart rate is really good her growth is really good everything's looking good i have gained about nine pounds so far and i feel like my face is seeing my pregnancy a lot <laughs> i don't particularly love that but i definitely feel like my face is like puffy like especially on the sides like my cheeks are filling out more i feel like my lips are a little bit more plump um and i feel like obviously i feel like some of it's gone to my stomach my chest and my face i feel like that's where i've gained my weight so far i am working out every day and i'm really enjoying that honestly i'm just so grateful that i am able to be active and work out every day i feel so good getting up and accomplishing a workout first thing in the morning every morning um let's see what else cravings for this pregnancy now this has been different from my pregnancies with my boys with my boys when i crave things i ate them pretty frequently and i would eat them more 
to satisfy the craving if that makes sense like i would have them and then i would continue to have them over the course of at least a few weeks before that craving might subside or i would have that craving for my entire pregnancy whereas with this pregnancy my cravings have very much been i will crave something and then i will if i have that craving once maybe twice then the craving subsides and goes away i don't need to continue to eat that thing that i craved so that's been interesting so i've really felt like i haven't really had any huge standout cravings though when i sit and think about it there are things that i did really crave that i really enjoyed when i ate um, but it's just been different like i said than my other pregnancies so some of the things that i have craved is ice cream salad oven roasted chicken sandwiches from subway especially with american cheese and uh green peppers just raw green peppers on that that has been like a favorite of mine i feel like my face looks so weird oh my gosh i feel like i have chipmunk cheeks or something <laughs> i don't get like i feel like i didn't like i feel like this is kind of early for me to feel so much plumpness in my face but whatever <laughs> um I'm also I've also craved grapes and then cheese puffs, which I know cheese puffs are gross and that's a bad craving, but <laughs> I've I've craved them. Um I am still fighting feeling exhausted and I am so ready for bed by eight, if not eight thirty every night. Um I like that's one thing with this fourth pregnancy. Well, this is more than my fourth pregnancy, but my fourth baby that I'm carrying, hopefully, to full term. Um, I have just been so tired. Like, I am so tired. Now, I do get up early in the morning. I get up between 5.30 and 6.15 in the morning. And I do my workout and I get my day going and everything. Because I just, I love being up in the morning. I'm definitely a morning person. And it's just nice to be able to think for a minute if I can before everybody else wakes up. Um, but I just, I am just so tired. I, if I can squeeze in even just like a 10 minute little nap on the couch while the kids are watching a movie or something, that helps quite a bit um, because I am just so tired. And then, like I said, by 8, 8.30, I am like, so done sometimes even by seven i feel like i could go to sleep um and i think that's about it i have i think just one more thing to mention so um the one other thing is my emotions my emotions have definitely been running high which i think i've already mentioned this before in previous um updates but i have some days where like I have the hardest time keeping it together like it's like I could literally just cry all day long because my emotions are just so strong like it just I just feel everything stronger um, being pregnant in this pregnancy and some days are also really hard physically some days I have like round ligament pain and then other days I just my body is just sore i'm just aching uh, some days i feel really good for the most part other days i feel really achy um i have a hard time sleeping at night and i feel like that probably lends to feeling tired throughout the day and having an achy body but my legs really bother me especially at night um i just have a really hard time getting comfortable and keeping comfortable it's like once i am laying on because i can only lay on my sides once i've switched from side to side already throughout the night it's like my legs are just so sore and so i have a hard time getting really good rest which is frustrating but i am just so grateful to be pregnant we are so excited to meet our little girl i feel like this pregnancy has been going kind of slow honestly which is funny because my second and my third pregnancy felt like they went by really fast um but this one really feels like it slowed down quite a bit so which is perfectly fine because i know that when she does get here time goes by so fast and i am not wishing away any time um but so i think that's pretty much it i'll show you guys my bump Let's see if i can get a good shot so this is my 
21 week baby bump. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this update and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.